any fish farmer that wants to record a high survival rate, better growth and maximum profit in a very short time must pay serious attention to pond water quality and on this video I discuss practical ways to control your pond water for optimal performance and rapid growth for your catfishes. What's up my people? Welcome to my YouTube channel Life of a Farmer. Though here we discuss farming in details. I remain your loyal boy Ishokri of Akeron. You can call me your Vorons. And if this is your first time of coming across this channel, then you are in the right place at the right time. Kindly click the subscribe button, give me thumbs up, share and draw questions in the comment section and you will never regret being a subscriber. So without wasting much of your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. As we all know, fishes are aquatic in nature. At such, their entire life cycle is in the water body. The African catfish is not an exception. Fishes they eat, they respirate and also pass out waste right inside the water. Even the, the feed that they do, did not consume excessive feed also remain inside the water. So for this reason, a lot of importance and attention should be paid to their environment. Because of the high demand and um, more farmers involved, I, I will focus on African catfish. And some of the things I also listed here also applies to tilapia production as well. So the first parameter we want to talk about, which is the source of life, to all living organism is oxygen. All animals need oxygen to survive either directly or indirectly and in catfish production it is referred to as dissolved oxygen because it is right inside the water. The amount of oxygen consumed by the fish is a, is a determinant of the fish size, the feeding rate, the activity level and the temperature. I also want to inform you that smaller fishes consume more oxygen than larger fish because of their um, kind of high metabolic rate. Too high or um, too low dissolved oxygen will affect your catfish health which can lead to um, what we call the gas bubble diseases and fishes can um, alive but but um, the f but feed consumption will reduce drastically when there is um, low dissolved oxygen and this will reduce their growth rate and will also affect the fish as the fish will be stressed and they will start dying. This will lead to loss in investment and uh, one thing I want to also stress is that uh, this dissolved oxygen can be can be measured with parameters but being a practical farmer or a beginner in catfish or fish farming production you might not have the the financial stand or the you might not have the capital to buy some of these equipment or apparatus to test your dissolved oxygen so i'm going to list some practical factors that you should look at to to that will make you to understand that yes there is a low level of dissolved oxygen and the first one is that when you notice that the fish is spent longer time at the top of the water they will just be swimming at the top of the water that is a sign that there is no enough oxygen in the water then two when you notice that the fishes often comes up and gasp for oxygen then they, they goes down again this this aspect is known as uh pigging it is they are coming up to take the the oxygen that is at the top not inside the water any longer then the third one is that when fishes stops feeding or you notice that they are not feeding well unlike as usual that is also a, an indicator that there is um, not enough oxygen in the water. So now that we've known these um, factors, I want to state how you can correct this if you find yourself in such situation. The first thing that you have to do, you can introduce aerators inside the pond, most especially when you when your pond is very deep. For instance, the surface um, pond, maybe tarpaulin or concrete pond, if they are very deep, what you just need to do is to um, connect aerators into the water and let it go down because one thing that you should know is that the deeper the water, the lower the dissolved oxygen in it so that is for that so that at the bottom there will be enough oxygen at the bottom then um, the third factor that you can also do is by flashing the pond this is done by removing the bottom water with less dissolved oxygen and you refill it since the bottom has less dissolved oxygen you open it for that bottom water to flush out the new one will now enter then you can also install your inlet such that there is a kind of distance whereby the water will travel before it will gets to the pond water. So in that process, the atmospheric oxygen is mixing directly with the water flow, thereby increasing the dissolved oxygen. The next factor that uh, I want us to discuss about is water pH. As we all know, this is a measure of um, acidity or alkalinity of the water. And fishes react to water pH at different levels. The range for the measurement is 0 to 14. And uh, we all know that the pH of 7 shows that the water is neutral. 
once the value is less than seven it means that there is um, the water is acidic and if the value is higher than seven or greater than seven it means that the water is alkaline in nature extreme high or low ph can kill um, our fishes the required ph level for african catfish to perform optimally is between 6.5 to 7.5 some might even put it up to eight and this is at sunrise on a practical experience what i will share with you is that low ph in your pond water is an indicator that there is high carbon dioxide inside the water and when you, you when you have a ph of 9 to 11 this will cause your fish to have retarded growth and once the ph is um, between 4 to 6 your fishes will be alive but you will experience they will experience um, stress and this will cause them to have slow growth these factors of fluctuating ph can be corrected by testing your water with a ph meter we have the liquid type ph meter pen type um in order to correct your water ph if it is below 6.5 at sunrise you can use lime and uh, or alkaline fertilizers and also if the ph is above 7.5 you can also use acidic fertilizers to correct it and the last one now we're going to discuss is a silent killer called a silent killer because i have experienced it in, in the farm and on different occasions some um, farmers have also called me saying that this is what they are experiencing or not to them that it is the cause of high ammonia as we already know fishes feed and excrete inside the same water and this is a factor that can cause high ammonia content in the water body catfishes excrete ammonia more and less amount of urea into the water as waste and this ammonia has two forms we have the ionized ammonia which is not harmful and we also have the unionized ammonia which is extremely harmful generally both of them are referred to as total ammonia this ammonia i want to really dwell on this ammonia because as i said it is a silent killer you can have this uh, there is this test kit that is used to measure ammonia same on um, the ph meter the liquid type and ph test kit we also have a liquid type ammonia test kit so and the practical ways that you could know that there is excess ammonia in your fish pond is very simple but please before i go further i want to beg and plead you that if you know you have not subscribed to this channel please just kindly click the subscribe button like share and drop your questions in the comment section do this as it will not cost you extra money but it will only help me to reach out to a larger audience and also to grow my channel thank you very much and god bless you practical ways you could know that there is excess ammonia in your fish pond is when fish seems to gasp for air at the surface of the water and you will also notice a kind of red or bleeding gills in the fishes then their body color will become darkened and uh, there will be loss of appetite you see the fish that they will have kind of sluggish movement and they will not respond to feed and this can lead to secondary infection and eventually death that is why i say it is a silent killer and when this happens the immediate treatment that i will tell you to do is to flush out the water and put in fresh water this is the quickest and the fastest one but there are some other ways that you can control the for instance when uh, maybe there is kind of malfunctioning of maybe your pumping machine or there is nothing you can reach out to there are other ways which i will also list that can help you in the absence of changing your water or in areas that are prone to to non-availability of one is by adding chemical filtration such as um, activated charcoal and this will um, help a lot then another another thing that uh, there is this substance they call zeolite you can um, introduce zeolite into your fish pond there is uh, this uh, commercial chemicals like a uh, ammonia lock this can also help you but in the absence of all this um, process which I have listed there is one factor you can also do but you have to be very careful in order not to lose your fishes and this is the use of salt all you just need to do is to know the volume of water in your pond and in every one liter you add one to two grams this will help to relieve the stress on the kidneys of the fish and they will become more active then in other words in another remedy is to decrease or stop feeding fishes this one especially applied to um, eating pond and the best thing that you can do to control the ammonia content in your water in eating pond is to stop feeding if you know you cannot drain out the water and put in fresh one just stop feeding feeding especially during the crisis period because this will help to lower the amount of ammonia in the pond and you can also de you can decrease the number of fishes in the pond or tank and after that you now administer antibiotics or other medication just to control secondary infection because this ammonia can lead to infection of your fishes with this i've come to the end of this in the subsequent video i'm going to talk about other factors that affect your water and all this put together will affect the growth and performance of your fish but once they are checked then you smile at the end of the day thank you for staying to the end i really appreciate you please before you go don't forget to drop your comments and give me a thumbs up see you in my next video peace out